This video is brought to you by Squarespace, the best place to build a beautiful website. What are normal maps, bump maps, displacement maps? Are they the same thing? And why can't these forums listen to the 10% of people who know what they're talking about? All of this and more on Blunder News. What is up, 3D Blunder Nation? I'm your host, CG Meme Star, and let's get right into the tutorial. Since the dawn of man, people have been modeling super detailed hard surface models that have all these intricacies, but of course this comes at the cost of an enormous face count. And it turns out that most of this geometry is being taken up by the super small details that we'd like to replace with a much less computationally expensive texture. For example, this vent alone is already 50,000 faces, but if we convert this into either a height map or a normal map, we can reduce this to a single face and still have it respond to changing lighting conditions. This means we can substitute geometric data for texture data, and here's how we do it. The easiest method is extracting the height throughout our object, which we package together into something called a height map. And this is a simple black and white texture that is brighter wherever there's a higher elevation and darker where it's lower. For example, here are some cases of different height maps that were generated directly from the geometry. And you might be thinking, okay, we put in the work to generate this height map, but what can it actually do for us? The first case is something called bump maps, and this is where we use the this height information to simulate depth on our surface. And no, this is not actually displacing our geometry, but instead you want to think of this as a shading trick that fakes depth using lighting information. On the other hand, we can choose to use our height map as a displacement map, which actually does deform in the direction of the surface normal. This is a much more photorealistic option, but of course it comes with the drawback of insane face counts and very long render time. So are bump maps and displacement maps the same thing? Well, yes, in the sense that they use the same height information, but really these should be thought of as different operations that use the same information one of which requires a bit of extra precision. And now for the million dollar question. How do these relate to normal maps, which are these mainly purple RGB textures? Well, first you have to understand that shading along our surface is highly dependent on our surface normal, meaning that if we can control the normals, we can control how our surface will look. And luckily for us, we've already extracted height information that we want to convert into normal information. Now, the way you do this is using these equations, which are hard to understand, so let me simplify. First, we use our height map to calculate the change in elevation horizontally. We can then do the same thing vertically, and when we combine this information into a single texture, this is what we end up getting. So height maps can be used for bump mapping, displacement mapping, and they can be converted into normal mapping. So which one is it that we actually want to use? Well, simply put, if you want the most accurate results that can actually cast shadows and you don't mind the extra render time, use displacement maps. Otherwise, you're trying to fake depth and you can use either bump maps or normal maps. You'd want to use normal maps for the fastest results that don't require any conversions, but bump maps are easier to manually paint because you're dealing with a single channel instead of three at the same time. Time. And yeah, you should now know the difference between these three. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you, patrons. And as always, I've been CG Matter. You've been you. See ya. So, you now know what normal maps are, but do you know how to build a beautiful website? No? Well, in that case, you're going to love the sponsor for this video, Squarespace. And Squarespace makes building a website super easy with their templates, their website builder. You don't need to know how to code. I certainly don't. And I made www.cgmatter.com using Squarespace. And in my opinion, it looks pretty good, so I would recommend this service. It has features like analytics, so you can track how many people go to your website and which pages they're going to, which is super useful information if you want to track all that. They also have email campaigns, so you can send out your brand message or maybe your personal message, which is pretty much a must. And you're going to get access to tons more features at a very affordable rate. But that affordable rate is about to become much more affordable because if you click my link in the description, you're going to save 10% on your very first purchase of a website or domain. So if this is something you're interested in, I would say click that link, act on it, and uh, yeah, make your website.